Hello everybody, how's it going? This is Eric and I'm so excited to be showing you this video today. I had the pleasure to work with this amazing girl. She's so beautiful because it's going to be great. A step-by-step -step how to do a natural glam look. So I hope you guys like it and please comment and subscribe. Follow me at Eric Makeup. Bye guys. The first thing you want to do is prime the skin and I'm using Fix Plus from MAC. And I'm actually using a primer from Stila and a moisturizer from Embryolife. Then I prime her eyelids to get rid of any discoloration or redness. So I'm using a regular foundation to even out her skin tone. Then I apply a regular champagne color all over her eyelids just to even out the color and just to accentuate and highlight her eye grace. Then I apply some color that I can't remember the name but it's a brown chocolate color all over her crease and then a slightly darker color right on the outer V of her eye. Then I blend really well and I extend a little bit of the eyeshadow towards the corner of her eyebrow. Then I want to add a little color to make her eyes pop even more. So I use this yellow golden color from Inglot Cosmetics right in the seam where the crease and the eyelid meet. That's where I want to put the highlight color or accent color. I'm using a cream eyeliner starting from the center of her eyelid to the outer corner. And then I'm going to make the liner a little thicker at the end and then meet the liner towards the inner corner of her eye. This is something that I will perfect as I go, so you can do that as well, it's easier for you. I'm using the same brush to do a really nice tight line. So the waterline needs to be colored with the Black Track Cream Liner from MAC to really enhance her eyes and make them stand out even more. You can also use a regular pencil. Anything that is creamy will do the work, so you have two, two options there. The next step is her eyebrows. Her eyebrows are really nice, but I'm just going to fill in individually drawing little strands of hair all over her base of her brow and then blend everything towards the corner or tail of the brow. My favorite products are cream. Cream makeup for me blends easier so I'm using a cream based eyebrow color just in case you're wondering. I then apply a gel, you can apply a gel just to kind of set everything and make your brow look a little more polished so you can use a clear gel or if you want to enhance it a little bit more you can add a, a gel that has a little color for your eyebrows. So let's move to her face. We have to cover some under eye circles or discoloration that we have under the eyes. So I'm using a concealer that is very sheer and light. This one is from MAC. It's a moisture cover and I absolutely love this product. So I'm using this and blending it out, making sure everything is melted into the skin so it looks as natural as possible and that way I don't get as much crease. So very minimal product and a good blending will do an amazing job. The next step is using a cream highlighter. I love creams as I mentioned before. So this cream highlighter will accentuate her features and make the features of her face just to stand out. So I'm applying it with a pencil and then blending the edges, making sure everything is correctly blended into the concealer and into the foundation that I applied. I like to apply the same highlighter right below her eyebrow, right where the uh, tip of the brow is, right there just to highlight that area and uh, it will give you an effect that will be matte which I like and it will look very very natural as well.
Okay, so this is a step where you finally, after perfecting the skin, you are going over things, checking if you have any redness or blemishes that you need to cover again. So with the same foundation that you use at the beginning, use the same foundation and go over little areas where you have any redness or any blemishes that are showing a little bit on your face. This is called perfecting the skin. Then apply a powder to set your makeup. This is a color foundation powder and is a mineralized skin finish from MAC and I love this product a lot. I use a brush that doesn't hold a lot of color and I apply a little bronzer mixed with a little blush and I'm applying it right in the circumference of the face. Adding a touch of glow on your face will seal the deal. So make sure you strategically apply a little glow on your face and also set your foundation and concealer. This is a translucent powder that I'm using and I'm barely just using very minimal on a sponge and then applying it into your under your eyes. Then I curl the lashes. This step I do last. For some reason I like to do it this way, but make sure you feel comfortable enough to do the steps as you feel more comfortable doing it. Then I apply some mascara and then I'm very into lashes, so I love fake lashes. And she has gorgeous lashes already, but the lashes, the false lashes will enhance her eyes even more. The lashes, I like to use something that is uh, very natural looking. I like to use something that will just extend her eyes so her eyes look bigger and something that will add volume into her lashes. So this strip of lashes I custom cut to fit her size of her eye so they stay correctly and fit correctly and feel nice. And then once I apply them I pinch them to make sure they're really close together to her real lashes. And this is a pro tip. I like to use the end of the brush to kind of push the lashes a little bit more. And then I like to apply mascara in the bottom lashes as well. You have to keep a balance between the lashes on top and the lashes underneath. So make sure you always apply mascara in the bottom lashes. Next is lips. So I like to use a pencil that is a little slightly darker than her lip color just to accentuate the lips. She has gorgeous color right now so I want to kind of keep the same color but just darken it up just slightly. And this color is a rose color I believe it's called Eternal from NYX. work will always look flawless if you perfect so make sure the lines look good the lip line is clean and that's what I'm using right now a little bit of her foundation and this flat brush to kind of sharpen those lines and make the lips very defined and clean so this is a pro tip as well for you guys and blend it really well into the skin Finally, I'm just fixing and tweaking few areas on her face, so I'm just checking the liner, making sure the liner is straight and clean as well. Then I'm adding a little more dimension into her eye, just in the outer corner of her eye. I'm just adding a little shadow right there, and I'm adding shadow right along her nose to create a little more dimensional face and on the tip of the nose, just adding a little contouring right, right there. And that's all the contouring I do for this type of look. And then I like to give a final touch, do a little gloss in the center of her lips. I didn't add any color, it, she just has the liner and the gloss because I wanna keep it as natural as possible. But there you go, this is the final look. I seal everything, spray again her face with fixed gloss 
and well this is the look and I hope you guys enjoyed as much as I did and thank you so much for watching this video and please stay in touch my Instagram account is Eric Makeup and I will see you next Monday with a new video take care guys bye